So great news that from the 11th of October, no quarantine is required for Indian visitors traveling to the UK if they are fully vaccinated with Covishield or another UK approved vaccine. The only requirement is to book and pay for a test on day two and complete the passenger locator form within 48 hours of your arrival into England. If you are unvaccinated or being administered a vaccine that is not on the UK's approved list, one would need to take a COVID test in three days before travel, book and pay for tests on day two and eight, which are mandatory and will be taken on arrival in England and also complete the passenger locator form. One can also opt for a test or release scheme, which would mean you take a test on day five. And if, you tell, if, if the result is negative, you're free to you know, start sightseeing from day six once you get your result. I think it's important to acknowledge the fact that there have been travel restrictions you know, short borders, etc. during the course of the pandemic over the last 18 or so months. Uh, what we're seeing now is, of course, revenge travel. We know there is pent up demand for travel. 76% uh, of Indians we surveyed were definitely considering taking an international trip in the next 12 months. The desire for the UK to recover fast is high. More than half of those that we surveyed in India, 55% actually said they were looking at revisiting family and friends on the next trip to the UK. And Britain is high on the consideration list of European destinations. I think the top three key activators for international leisure travel at the moment, as we see it, at least our hygiene and safety protocols in the destination uh, is number one, uh, receiving a COVID vaccination. So I think it's great to see the vaccination program in India picking up speed as well which means there will be more people that can, will have access and will be able to travel further. Uh, and a significant decrease, I think, also in the COVID cases in the destination one aims to visit. Uh, so these are the top three things we're seeing, at least, that would probably influence choice of travel destinations going forward. Working with the trade, is very important to us in India, vital for our business. We've been hosting webinars and engaging with our travel partners since April 2020. Ensuring our trade partners in India are ready to sell Britain is crucial to driving back bookings as well as highlighting messages of reassurance and welcome. As per our research, Europe is the most popular region for Indian travelers next international leisure trip, followed by Asia. Indian visitors are most likely to consider mountains or hills when it comes to destination type, which means they're looking for countryside, you know, less uh, crowded places, more open spaces for the next international trip, uh, closely followed by a large city. So I think when you look at uh, Britain, for example, a lot of the countryside destinations are very close to cities in terms of commute and driving time. So it's a great place to visit. When it comes to individual activities on an international trip, I think Indians are most excited about outdoor nature activities, as well as visiting iconic tourist attractions and taking in the destination's history and heritage. Birmingham is located in the West Middle East and it plays host to the Birmingham 2022 Commonwealth Games next year, which starts on the 28th of July. The West Midlands is the most visited region outside uh, London. Indian visitors to the UK in 2019 spent just shy of £1,100, which is 56% higher than the average traveller. While visiting the UK, Indian love, we know Indians love to dine in restaurants and bars, sightseeing famous monuments, and of course we love to shop. The Birmingham 2022 Commonwealth Games is a huge opportunity to showcase the West Midlands to Indian visitors with so much to see and do in the region and would be ensure that there would be more value that's brought into the region and the economic benefit across the country.
visitors from India are great to have in a normal year, spend more than half the time outside London, stay almost three times as long and spend 56% more on average per visit. Inbound visits and spend from India have more than doubled in the last 10 years. Indian visitors spend 56% more than the average visitor and are exceptional for their long stays. Visits from India to the UK are forecasted to reach 678,000 by 2025 and are forecasted to be, uh, spend 762 million overall from the market in the same year. Outbound travel from India has a lot of potential to grow. Only 33% of holiday visitors from India have come to the UK before versus 63% on average. So there's a huge potential of volume of visitors that we can target. Direct flights between India and the UK currently stand at 60 per week, one of the highest amongst long-haul countries. As per our research, at 55% India is amongst the markets with the highest proportion of travellers to visit relatives and friends on their next trip, which is a huge opportunity and I think the Indian diaspora in the, the UK uh, at 1.6 million would mean there would be a lot of people travelling to meet with their families that they've not been able to for the past 18 or so months during the pandemic. The UK enjoys very favourable perceptions in India, ranking third out of 50 countries for its people, rich cultural heritage, contemporary culture, historical buildings and monuments, and for the vibrant city life in the 2020 Nations Brand Index. Overall, prospects for travel between the two countries are more positive and signs of recovery can be seen. Whether recovery cements itself in the coming months will depend on inbound travel policy and management of the potential uh, future COVID waves. Thank you.